with it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, the setup for me, if you push your hands on this left hand one, as you can see, a bit too far forward, okay? We want to try and create a. Almost not a straight line, but that kind of blue line there from your left shoulder, left elbow, left hand to the shaft, that's a more Point neutral line. Check is knuckle to. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're looking out of your right eye, which if you're sort of dominant eye, look out of there now. That's kind of what you're looking for, you yeah? Left eyes, you? Okay, well, there you go. That's fine. Right yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fine. Shot, yeah, right. I know. I'm, I'm the same. I'm left eye. I'm the other way. Why did you shoot? I, I was like, well... <laughs> I, I find that really... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Close your eyes. Wasn't that's it? right, yeah. Close your eyes and which way you switch it. Yeah, so if you go for your left eye, it's going to be inside your left yeah. hand there yeah. on the foot. But at least you've got a reference point where you can see going out of this one here now, you're going to see, well, hang on, this hand's going to be covering that foot there. It's just too far forward. And the thing is, once you're leaning forward, it kind of creates this kind of lean back with the spine because the fact you've pushed your hands forward there now and what we then see is you at the golf ball reasonable back to the left and the knee movement now is really good that sort of stuff from back from less than when you sort of worked on that you're getting that much more uh, efficient now so the back swing movement isn't bad here now as you come back to the golf ball now you never sort of get back to that yellow line you, that you hang there. back here your arms now your left are sort of back up and okay sort of tucked up you are and even now after the shot's been hit i mean there's still kind of a bit of a, a lean back here okay whereas this one okay same good backswing, okay? Now we're going to move a little bit. It's your left hip and shoulder moving towards and down to the ball. Good strike of the ball there. Now not so much kind of tilted behind the ball. When you finish this swing, you're a bit wider. You finish a little bit more on that foot there and you stay in there. Whereas this one, you're kind of hanging back and then whoop, we'll kind of, we'll get there at the end and like sort of make myself finish there. Now it seems really late, but in reality from there to there is probably like a second. Yeah. So your, body just, your body's trying so hard to actually get to that left side. doesn't quite get there in time. You end up leaning back and pulling back. And again, you can sort of see the strike on here now. That ball now has basically gone da doing into the ground like that. Yeah. That's what's happened. So you're at the top yeah, of the ball, the top, yeah. so you just drive it in the ground, it pops up in the air. Whereas this strike on this one is actually much more clean hit there. You can see the connection. Now. That ball's shooting off the club face. Your hands are nicely in front of the golf ball there. Your spine is... If I'm being honest, a little bit more than I'd want it to, but it's moving in the right direction gradually. I think for you, practicing up against that kind of wall here on your left heel there, okay? Get yourself, don't have to have you as a golf club if you don't want to, just put your hands in like a golfing position. Back here now, and now get left hip and shoulder onto that green on or nearer to that green. If you don't get there quick enough and anything starts popping back up, if you do it a little bit too late this me. shoulder now starts going this way you're just the, I'm going from the hip not yeah. the shoulder and yeah the hip exactly together, you've, you've got to feel it more of a kind of a sort of like swaying rocking doll sort of side to side rather than sort of firing the hip there because if this hip fires too far in this direction this way this is going to just fly back yeah, that's and just then in, and then again. all you can end up is pushing out to the right hitting the ground kind of behind the ball or to exactly or topping it so yeah, yeah, the body it's, movement it's my shoulders and hips out yeah in sync if you mean the hips yeah. to go in and the the back there. Yeah, that's the thing. Get so you think, if we think these lines here, that's kind of where you start. We want your torso and your body to be a bit more kind of in that position. So you're moving everything towards that left side a little bit more. In reality, your head will be a little bit further back because you're, you're swinging the club with some speed, okay? But we don't want it to be sort of leaning too far back. Again, good rotation now with the lower half, as we said. The lower half now is working well. Just getting that left shoulder to kind of move with it. Decent, to say, impact with the hands, just hanging back a little bit and then through to target, you ended up in a nice position there. Whereas this one, you sort of ended up in the same position, but you had to do that to kind of get there to finish with. So it's moving and thing. But I think as a static change to start with, get your hands from being too far in front. That's the biggest thing. And as you said at the start of the video there, looser. If you grip it looser, mate, you've got a chance, haven't you? If you're gripping on for dear life, yeah. Get the grip. Yeah. Loose. I wasn't thinking about the move. I the move well, the move. Exactly. I just keep it loose and then worry about it. And then it. movement sort of comes in its own. Exactly. Okay, buddy, makes yeah. sense? Yeah.